They're doing it guys. They're working on a way for us to transition from zero to auto. This is one of those minor annoyances that I can remember from way back when. So let's look at an example of this. I have some HTML here. I have a div with a class of container and an image. And when you click on the button, it adds a class of open. And in our CSS, we start off with a height of zero. And when we switch to the open class, it has a height of auto and we're transitioning on that height. So when I click on it, there's no transition. It just opens. Now, how we get around this currently is using something like max height or min height. And instead of transitioning on the height, you transition on the max height. So you start off at zero and then you put some arbitrary number that's taller than your content. So now when I click me, it opens with a nice transition. Now, the new way of doing it is using this new calc size function. You start off at height zero, you transition on the height. And when it's open, then we run this calc size function. And sure enough, when we click on it, we get a nice little transition. Now for this to work, you need to be using Chrome Canary and you need to have the feature flag turned on. So if you come up to the Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and turn on the experimental web platform features, and then you should be able to use it. Now this is definitely experimental. So how this looks might change in the future, but my takeaway from this is they're actually working on it. Realistically, it's not going to change your life all that much, but it's just one of those minor annoyances that you don't have to worry about anymore. And that's really it. I just want to share the good news with you. If you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.